YouTube, what is up, man? It is your boy Jay Blends back with another full length tutorial. So, listen, in this tutorial, we're going to be doing a mid fade, nothing off the top. And we're going to take you through this thing, man, and get you right, get you steps to becoming a dope barber. So, we're going to jump right in, and I am prepping my client's head, um, separating the longer curly hair from what's grown back in on the sides, just pinning. The longer hair up and separating everything so now i'm going in with a number two guard with the grain and i'm knocking down that bulk um, just to define the shape in my fade and uh, get everything separated i don't want to cut into his curly hair on top so i'm just cutting that bulk down with the number two clothes with the grain So right here, I'm going in and I'm setting in my ball line, um, just using my trimmers, uh, the Slimline Pro Allies, and I'm taking my time and, and really um, setting in precisely because I truly feel like this sets the tone for the rest of your fade. If your first initial line is crooked, then your fade is going to be kind of crooked and, and swaying and stuff like that. So. You really want to take your time and set this line in precisely, um, making sure that you clean up underneath it uh, really well. And just taking your time, man. Um, doing the little things is what matters, is what can set you apart from the next barber. So right here, as you can see, I am beginning to go into the fade with my Magic Clips lever open. I'm going up about a half inch to an inch. I'm really just taking my time and making sure that I comb through all the hair in that first guy line and make sure everything is even and consistent. That is a big thing to really set the tone for your blends, making sure everything is even and consistent throughout the fade. Now I'm jumping straight in, lever close, and I'm beginning to flick out that bottom line that I just set in. Taking my time, I, I like to use my corners when I'm blending out lines. Um, and you adjust your lever as you go up into that section where you created the first guideline a little bit of lever play um, to really set the tone for this first guy line of this fade. As you can see here, I'm just detailing, using my corners, flicking out that line. Now I am going in with my one guard lever open and I'm going up about another half inch to an inch and really taking my time as you see I'm combing the hair down and really making sure that I have this even all across the board. That is a big thing I cannot stress that enough to, to barbers is really taking the time to Make sure that your, your guidelines are set in evenly and precisely because that will help you. Now I have the lever closed here with the one guard. Um, it doesn't take that line out. It just kind of softens it up a little bit. Kind of helps me see how the blend is going to go. Um, so now it's just a little lever play as I go up. And using my corners and flicking out once I get to the top of this guideline. Now I have my half guard on, lever closed, and I'm just using my corners to flick out that bottom of that guideline. Um, it may look like I'm using my whole blade, but I promise you it's, it's just the corners. Taking my time and, and really blending this fade out and getting it clean and precise.
Now I'm going in with a little clipper over comb action to knock down that bulk up by the parietal ridge. Taking my time and combing the hair down in between sections. I'm just making sure everything is even and, and flowing consistently. Steps like these take patience. You don't want to rush. Um, so just take your time. And now I'm jumping in with the number two guard against the green. Uh, I think I was being cautious here, but you don't necessarily have to do this step. Um, but you want to make sure you're doing things right and in order. So I went ahead and done this step anyway. Just going through and knocking down some more of that bolt that I couldn't quite get with clipper over comb. Now I'm going in with my one and a half guard um, fully closed and I'm flicking out that weight in between my last guideline and the parietal ridge. I'm making sure that I don't go up too high because I'm starting to get the blend that I like to see. Um, and that's the thing, um, you go off your eye and, and how you're feeling with this. Um, you don't want to set in things too high. Uh, you don't want to flick up too high. It should be real smooth transition. And now it's just a little cleanup work. I'm dropping back down to my one guard. Um, it's fully closed right now using a little lever play to blend down and just make sure everything is cleaned up and everything is even. Use your corners when, when you are blending out these, these dark spots and these white lines. Use your corners, use lever play. And, and it's, it's a feel, it's a motion. It's muscle memory. Once you put in the reps, it just becomes muscle memory. And also, man, when you get a chance, please, if you're digging this content, take a moment to smash that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, share this content with whoever you know and hit that notification bell most importantly because you want to be notified when new hot content is dropping out from this channel um, we're continuing to help young and upcoming barbers just anybody who wants to learn man i feel like everybody can learn something from somebody so please smash that subscribe button y'all and let's grow together And also another thing, if you're feeling this music in the background, um, all my beats are original. Um, I make them myself. So get at me, DM me. Um, my Instagram handle is up in the top left corner. Um, let's collab on that too. Let's grow together, y'all. So right here, we're jumping into the back of the head and we're doing the same steps, y'all. Um, forgive this camera angle. Um, I thought I would try a different angle, but it didn't work out um, like I thought. So this next little clip is just a short few seconds of this angle, but we're getting right back to business. Same steps as usual. Setting in that ball line, um, clearing it out, and just staying consistent all the way around the head. Um, just making sure that everything is consistent and even um, to get the best results. So take your time setting in these lines um, and removing them, you guys. Take your time. That's the most important step. Never rush greatness.
And same as before, we're going in, um, lever open, going up about a half inch to an inch um, on the back of his head, just making sure everything is even and smooth. And um, I realized that it was too much bulk, so I went in like I did on the side with my number two guard um, with the grain closed, um, just to kind of clear out some of that bulk so I can see my transition a little better. Now we're right back to business with the no guard lever open. I'm going up about a half inch to an inch. Taking my time making sure I get all the small hairs through the clipper blades so that everything is cut evenly and precisely. Now we're jumping right in, closing that lever, and we're beginning to knock this line out, y'all. Using your corners, taking your time. Lever play as you go up into this section. Uh, you know you have from clipper close to clipper open in this section. So use that lever play and really work the lever um, in this section, you guys, to create a smooth blend. And also, um, if leave something in the comments y'all um, if there's something you're struggling with um, as a barber um, up and coming season everybody struggles with something drop it in the comments let me know um, maybe i can create a video to help you um, help you get the resources to figure this thing out let's grow together So right here, I'm just going in with my one guard uh, lever open. And the same as the left side, um, we're just going up about a half an inch to an inch, um, making sure that everything is even and consistent as possible, um, because that will determine the smoothness of the transition of the fade. So take your time, make sure that line is even all the way across. So right here I'm going in with my half guard, um, lever close, and I'm flicking out that next line of transition using my corners, using a little lever plate um, to make sure that everything blends out smooth.
So at this point here, I'm just going through and detailing um, everything that I have completed up until this point using my corners. I'm knocking out little dark spots that I see in my transition and um, just taking my time, being consistent in all that I do with this fade, knocking down that bulk at the Parada Ridge with the one and a half close and just, just taking my time to fix any uneven spots that I may see that I missed in the middle of the transition. So right here we're beginning to prep the hair for the lineup. And we're just combing those hairs down and getting them in place and spraying a little holding spray spritz um, on the front line. And we're going to blow dry it a little bit um, just to get those hairs to lay the way we want them. So when it's time to line them up, we're not chasing them. Um, that's how we avoid pushbacks as people call it. 
and we avoid those tragedies. So right here, we're just laying the hair in place, locking it in with the blow dryer, and getting it prepped to line it up. So right here, we're beginning to line up, and we always start from the center and work your way to the outsides, because sometimes you may have a client that um, their natural headline is uneven. Um, so you want to be able to spot that. Start in the center, um, build a good center line of definition and just work your way from there here I'm going from the center to the right side of the client's head um, our left if we're looking at it and just taking my time creating a straight line and making my vertical bars meet my top corner line to create a nice sharp box and another thing I like to preach to new barbers and Barbers in general, you don't have to have your clippers razor sharp. One thing I hate is slicing up a client to the point to where they're scabbed up. We don't need to do that. A clean, dry canvas will solve all that. Yes, adjust your clippers. Yes, set the blades, but do it correctly. Do it precisely. Take your time. And on this side, I'm, I'm going and working my way to the other side of my client's head, um, just tapping at the line and pulling down. And now I am making the vertical bar meet the top line on that side of the lineup. And just taking my time, making sure everything is centered and square. I comb down any loose hairs that I may see and just clean it up. And right here, I'm working my way over to the C cup. I'm adjusting my client's head and just using the corners of my trimmer blades to etch out that C on the side. Um, taking your time, creating the best shape possible that will fit your client's head. And here we have it, y'all. Here's the finished product. Um, if you like what you see, please, again, smash that subscribe button. Share this content so YouTube can keep pushing it out to the world, y'all. Let's grow together. Let's build together. Let's be great together. It's your boy, Jay Blend, signing out with yet another one. Peace.